Hey, John here again. So I've got this uh, EB5000 Honda. I don't know what year it is. I got it in junk. I had a blown motor and I replaced the piston rod and rings and uh, did that a while back. And uh, it always worked great. Uh, I even started up uh, every once in a while, uh, every month, two, three months or whatever. It always worked great. So the power went out this morning and I needed this sucker, but I guess looking back in retrospect, uh, you know, the engine runs, everything runs fine when I was, you know, just starting to let it run for a bit to keep things in working order. I never really uh, tested uh, to see if the, uh, the actual <laughs> unit worked, um, you know, the generator part, you know, I got the engine works, but uh, the generator part, I never really tested because I haven't had to use it in a while. It did work, um, see, like this, uh, this must have been an option in this year, <laughs> House, household uh, plug, I didn't put that in there, but it used to work, and this thing, uh, you know, when you plug it in, it's got a light. This lights up, so nothing's working. So it ain't the. It ain't just this contraption here. Even the factory outlets, even the big guy up here. Nothing, nothing's working. I plug everything in. Nothing's working. Circuit breaker. I checked. You know this. I don't even think that works. 120. Blah blah blah. So I'm going through, uh, looking what the hell's wrong with this thing. And uh, I think the, the generator part. I'm hoping that it's just something easy. Maybe a broken wire. Maybe. Uh, uh, maybe. I'm hoping it's. Uh, Maybe, I don't know, brushes, you know, just like any typical, uh, you know, like a starter or um, uh, alternator or something like that. But, so today I just got to figure this out. My power's back on, so I don't need it, but I do need to fix it because uh, I want a 5,000. I mean, I could probably go out and buy a 5,000 at Harbor Freight for 400 bucks, but these things are a little over two grand, and uh, I want to get it grand again. So today I'm just going to try to diagnose why this sucker stopped working. Now there is a tool to separate a Honda generator from the motor and I don't think I have that tool although when I did the engine years ago uh, I must have took it apart so maybe I made something I don't know I'll figure it out but I'm going to take this cover off see what I can see and hopefully maybe there's some brushes in there yeah like uh, like I said like an alternator deal a spring or like a starter you know that uh, contacts the uh, what well let me let me take it apart and see what uh, see what's doing in there I remember. Yeah, because I had to take all these wires out. That's why I numbered them so uh, I didn't get lost when it come to putting this back in. Now I think, uh, I think the brushes are up here somewhere. I might even be down there. And this is that uh, it's like a rectifier or uh, a voltage regulator. I'm gonna have to look up to see what what these are supposed to be producing and what these are. Uh, what these are supposed to be producing as far as voltage because I'm not sure on that but I'll look them up but I can uh, let me get this off I can look at the brushes right quick just to see if I'm hoping it's brushes because I think brushes are like uh, five bucks something like that as far as um, let me see if I can take that off I don't know why I'm using a manual screwdriver use it right there the drill. Anyways, let me take this off. I think these rectifiers or regulators, I don't think they're much money neither, maybe 20, 30 bucks. I don't know about for a Honda, but they're probably, uh, I'm sure they got a uh, generic one. In fact, I'll look up, uh, see if there's a part number on here. I don't know, I'll look that up later. Anyways, I think there is a part number. Um, so anyways, uh, so then get brush off. There's only one screw holding that on too. And actually, uh, I don't think it's the brushes, which is a bummer. Although, because they're only five bucks, I'll probably get another one anyways. They seem to uh, they seem to be fine. This one's a little stiffer, but crap. That means it's probably this guy. But I do have to. Uh, I got to start this up and run it, and I have to take some uh, some measurements. You know, I put this br these brushes back on, and uh, when it's running, get a voltage reading here. Again, I gotta look up what it's supposed to be, or the, the you know, the uh, it's, it's labeled too positive, negative. 
just in case uh, we forget which is which, left or right, but the red, red goes in there, white goes in there, and of course the brown. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll look it up, see what the volts are supposed to be. I'll put this back on, I'll get a multimeter, move it on that route, and I'll see if there's a, a way to test this too. I'll look that up, I don't know. It, it doesn't look like the brushes, it's probably most likely this guy. But um, it also could be, uh, you know, the, the whole alternator could be bad. I, I don't know. I hope not because I'm not buying another one. <laughs> this thing is probably most of the money for this uh, generator. If it is a bad alternator or something's bad with the winding or, you know, any of that business, I'm junking this thing because, uh, you know, it's, it's useless. I got it for, well, I got a couple hundred bucks into it for, you know, the, doing a motor, but I'm not going to deal with this. I'm hoping it's uh, something easy like this. It's probably probably this guy. I think this voltage regulator is designed to, although I don't remember the last time it ran, I think everything was fine. You know, if you get a big surge or, uh, I don't know, I guess these things could just go too. I'm hoping it's this. I don't think it's the brushes. But let me let me hook this back up and do a, uh, I gotta go look up, uh, see what the stats are. I'll be right back. All right, so I looked up some stats. So we're gonna unplug this, um, put this ball back together uh, to measure this. So I got it on volts AC and we're going to measure um, the, uh, the, um, the brushes. So I'll take them leads off and uh, right on top, right on the bottom left. Well it says right there positive and negative so we'll just assume the red is positive. <laughs> and uh, we're going to measure I'm actually going to unhook the uh, I'm going to unhook this uh, voltage regulator as well. So that's completely out of the picture. Then what you're supposed to have is across L1, L, this is left side, right side. L, between these two terminals, supposed to be three, or no, uh, what was it? Uh, two to five volts. According to stats I looked up, two to five volts across these two two to five volts across these two and zero volts from here to here so I'm gonna measure them the uh, brushes in here are five to ten volts so the reading on the brushes should be five to ten volts and then the reading on uh, which I'll, I'll plug these back in I'll leave this unplugged I'll plug these two back into the brushes and then we'll see if we got three, correction, <laughs> keep saying three, two to five across here, two to five across here, and zero volts from here to the two outside ones. So let's do that. So right now the brushes are unhooked, and I got some leads here because uh, it's a bit funky to get in here. So I plug that on, and uh, and get to this other ones right here. You can see that. So, don't worry about that. Yeah, I should be able to get that. So, so we'll just do. Uh, we'll see what this. Let's see what it says right now. Just for shits and giggles, zero zero volts. So let's let's start this up. When I when I touch that uh, the negative part or the actually I got it. I got it backwards here. Not the matter. Just be negative. So when I touch this positively to the uh, positive side of the brushes, I should be reading 5 to 10 volts on the brushes. Forget that. 5 to 10 volts. Uh, I'm looking for 5 to 10 volts. The stuff I looked up says no more, no more than uh, 10 volts. Hmm. I don't think uh, hooking this uh, voltage regulator that's not going to do anything because we need to me measure. So maybe the brushes are uh, acting funky. I don't know. Let's 
to take that apart and see what's doing. Something internal that's causing, uh, well, they're just brushes, but maybe I'll blow it out. It's got some dust in there. And uh, it's affecting stuff, I don't know. I mean, they, they look decent enough. They're way out there, all the ones actually looking at it. One is taller than the other, or well, maybe just just where it's sitting on the uh, you know the armature there. Maybe it's, I mean you would think it would be dead center, but one is taller than the other. Oh, look at that! It just popped out. Huh? One was taller than the other. Oh, maybe the spring edge. Ah, let's hook that back up. Yeah, we're ready to start this. So I'm going to measure this tab again and see what uh, what we're producing this time just cleaning them brushes I don't think cleaning brushes is going to do the trick but we'll find that Curious on if all generators are the same as far as uh, you know what I looked up five to no more than 10 volts, and here I'm at 13 volts. Uh, so let me, uh, that being said, let me, let me plug these puppies in and uh, see if the measurements across those terminals over here. These two, and then these two are going to be between, what was it, uh, between two, between two and five volts, that's what I'm looking for. power um, this morning there was nothing coming out of and like I said this thing here has a little light here and uh, nothing was working I measured the, the outlets all the outlets this thing was not producing power okay so let's let's do another check we'll plug this back in the regulator and uh, let's start it up again Crap. I just hit something, turn the camera out. Let me get to, let's see. So I'm gonna start this up again. If this thing lights up, then this generator works. And it might work just from cleaning it, let me turn this light up. And if it does, I'll be a goddamn monkey's uncle. Because it did not work when I needed it the most this morning. That's weird, I got kind of torn apart on it. So it works now. Don't you love it when things fix themselves? Hmm. Anyways, I don't know what to make of that. Maybe just uh, taking this out and blowing it out and cleaning the brushes. Uh, there was that little discrepancy with the one brush, but I don't know what to make of that. It's 13 volts. It's higher than the stat I looked up. But, and these stats were within, I don't know what to make of that. I, uh, I might get a set of brushes 
because they're five bucks and they're easy to put on. And uh, if I can get this cheap enough, 20 bucks, I might just get this anyways. But it does work. That's funny because I was out of power this morning and I couldn't get anything out of this. No matter what I did, I uh, I uh, I tested all these, all these uh, you know fuses, circuit protector, everything. I measured. Uh, uh, I don't know what the, I don't know what to say. I have no idea what just happened there. Um, I'm just going to put this cover back on here and call that a fix. The thing kind of fixed itself, other than blowing a little air in there. Uh, all right, so I got the big Kahuna there, the the 220, plugged into uh, back fed into the outlet there. All the power's off, so let's see if that compressor will work. Now I'll start this puppy up. Get a little check here. recording once again uh, so the 220 does work uh, the 30 amp the 20 amp that you know that guy in the center there I think it's 15 20 whatever it is uh, so everything works so I don't know what the, I mean uh, just ran this uh, it's only 500 watts that but the compressor did kick on with the 220 I don't get it man this thing uh, this morning didn't work I don't get it uh, maybe just blowing uh, brushes out uh, just taking stuff apart, blowing the dust out. I have no idea. Maybe that that did the trick. But anyways, so I'm glad it works. So anyways, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that maybe helped somebody. I don't know. All right, catch you next time.